Hi everybody. So AMD's Ryzen 3 2200U has arrived in Acer's new Aspire laptops. It's um, and it's an entry level laptop, and the price tag is around four and five hundred dollars. And I have to say, I like this already much more than uh, Acer's premium Ryzen um, Raven Ridge laptop, the Swift. And uh, I would just start with the good news first, with the great news actually. Um, first of all, it has a non-glare screen, which is great. Acer Swift is glary. Then it comes with an, uh, with a 128 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte HDD, which is also a nice. Uh, it's nice to have to have the system on the SSD, which makes it pretty fast to use. And in my first minutes of testing, I have to say it, it's pretty nice. And uh, all the and then you have the one uh, terabyte HDD for all your games and stuff. You can see there's the Ryzen free sticker and the Vega sticker. So AMD seems to be pretty proud about Vega. Finally, and. Uh, yeah, otherwise it features 5G LAN, uh, VLAN. And the best news is I ha did some stress tests and um, um, compared to the Swift, this Acer Aspire was able to hold the frequencies all the time at 3.4 gigahertz which is pretty great and it should make this a good performer despite being only a dual core 4 thread uh, APU. And another good news is that well you cannot change the VRAM sizes in the BIOS but here Acer chose to set the default value to 512 megabytes um, compared to the 256 um, used in the Swift and also used or set in the HP's Envy. So this should already allow um, us in some games that have problems with this low size like Fortnite where you cannot uh, set where the texture quality automatically gets reduced because of that you could, it should help there. Yeah. And what else? It has two uh, DDR4 slots and the installed RAM is 4 GB DDR4-2400 which is also great. So you can buy this laptop for pretty cheap, add another 4 GB of DDR4-2400 and you should have a pretty nice performer that should also perform nicely in some games. Yeah, so that was the preview. And uh, I have to say, I already like it much more than Acer Swift, which is not bad, but it's it's a blender. It's really a blender. It just looks nice, but the internals and there are a lot of fuck ups. Just like the 15 watts TDP config and um, the throttling and so on. But this, at first glance, seems to be really good. And uh, I will follow up with some more tests and uh, comparisons. Then we see. Also great, it has easy accessible um, component ports, or how do you call them? Yeah, so see you later.